Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a review and wear test for you guys and it is on the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation. This foundation, I'm going to let you guys watch the review. I talked about this in my favorites and I told you guys that I didn't think I had actually done a review of it or actually showed it to you on camera. So that's what's prompting this video today. I cannot wait to show you how it wears. I'm doing a full day wear test, including going to the gym. So by the end of the video, you will see how it holds up through all that. Before we get into the video, as usual, you know I gotta ask you. You're here, I hope you've been enjoying the content. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you know every time that I upload, I post beauty videos, including hauls, reviews, tutorials, and I sprinkle a little fitness in there as well. So if that's what you're into, you're gonna love this channel. I'm not gonna keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see a wear test and a review of the Il Maquillage Foundation, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna jump straight into the review. I am going to prime my face with the Becca Skin Love Brighten and Blur Primer. You guys know I love this primer. I've been talking about it. And then while I'm letting that sit, I'm going to read the claims of the foundation to you, tell you what shade I got, and let you know the 411. Now, like I said before, this is one of my favorites, so it's not a first impressions for me, but I wanted to do a wear test for you guys and let you know why I love it, I guess, because it wears really well and it stays on all day. I am going to the gym today, so this will be a wear test, really putting it to the test, seeing how it holds up through my workouts. So right now it is 1027. So this will be on probably for at least 11 hours. I wanted to start sooner, but life. So while we're letting this sit, I'm gonna read a little bit of the claims to you. This is what the bottle looks like. No, I do not have the box. Like I said, I've had this for probably a year. I did get the shade 200. It has really good reviews on its website over almost 200,000 reviews, 195,000 reviews, and it's like four and a half stars. It says there are 50 shades for all skin tones to lightweight texture, buildable, medium to high coverage, natural matte finish. It says it has optically corrective powders and it's enriched with vitamin E for anti-aging benefits, hyaluronic acid for hydration, protection, and filling wrinkles, and it's cruelty free for long lasting wear, pair with a primer or a setting spray. I did pick my shade, of course, online. That's the only place you can get it. And I used their shade finder. I was very surprised that it worked out as well as it did because I don't normally have good luck with it. One thing I will say when I got my bottle, it does come with a pump, but it had spilled around the edges. And so I contacted them and told them and they didn't give me any hassle at all. They just sent me another bottle, so I do have two. I think this has been sitting long enough, so we're gonna go ahead and start the application. I'm gonna start off with one pump. This is what the foundation looks like. It's a little runny. And this might be a tad dark, but I love the undertone of this. You know we can always make it work if it's a little dark with concealer and powder and everything else, so I don't worry too much about that. But this is just gliding on the skin so well. So there you can see is one pump. And this does look like a medium coverage. 
can still see my dark spots a little bit. But honestly, unless I'm doing full glam, like this is, I'll probably put a little more on my cheeks, which I'm gonna do another pump just to show you guys how it builds up. But if I'm just doing like quick out the door and I just wanna kinda even things out, I will do one pump and then maybe like a little bit more on my problem areas and that's it. I don't always go for like super, super full coverage, so. All right, this is where we are with the first pump. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add a full second pump concentrating mostly on my problem areas. I didn't need a whole second pump, but we're doing this for review purposes. And so then the second pump, I just packed stipple in to try to make sure that it keeps the coverage. But I mean, even still adding that second layer, like. It doesn't feel like there's anything on my skin. And initially, when I did the Find Your Shade test, it'll ask you if you want matte coverage, if you have oily skin, if you want full coverage. You know, it asks to make sure that it gets everything right, which I can really appreciate. It's just, it's hard because they'll tell you like, look at the skin tone of this person and this person, which one is more close to you? Well, not every monitor that you're looking at has the same tone or has the same quality. So that makes a big difference on what you see. This is the second coat. As you can see, pretty much everything is covered. Like this feels flawless to me. I didn't color correct or anything like that as you saw. So this is 100% the coverage of the foundation and it doesn't really feel like I have anything on my skin. So this is where we're starting. It is 10.33. I'm going to finish the rest of my face and then come back for the final check-in, final look or whatever. And then I'm gonna do another check-in midday and then come back this afternoon to give you guys the final view of what it looks like. I'm not gonna blot today. And again, I'm working out so we are gonna see how this holds up by itself. But I'll finish my face and I'll come right back. All right guys, so finished my face. Um, I don't know, I guess if you guys wanna know everything I used, I've been trying out the Rare Beauty Concealer. So that's under my eyes with my RCMA No Color Powder. For my brows, I used my LA Girls Slim Shady Brow Pencil. I did not go around them with concealer or anything. So as you can see, they're not as cleaned up a little more bushy, natural looking, as natural as it could be. Um, for my contour, honestly, I used a bunch of stuff that I have that they don't make anymore that you can't get. And that's why I used it because I wouldn't be showing it on camera. So yeah, I used a CoverGirl Queen Collection bronzer. I used a MAC Holiday face palette. Um, the one that had, hold on, I'll show you. I'll show you guys this in case you have it and may want to use it, but this is what's on my face. So I use that to also kind of bronze and then that's my highlighter and my blush for today. So that's what's giving me the glow. And then I told myself I wasn't going to do eyeshadow. I was just going to do like color in my crease, but I found this palette at Marshall's. This is the Lancome. Starlight Sparkle Shadow Palette. Y'all, this palette is so pretty. Like, I literally just started off going in with this color in my crease, and then that turned out really orange, and I was like, whoa, well, now we gotta put a little bit of color. And of course, this kind of olive color was screaming my name. So that is on the outer part. It's not super dark, because I tried to blend it out, but I wish I could play with this on camera. I can't, but I'm definitely gonna play with it off. I think this was their holiday 2019 collection. So probably why it's at Marshall's, but I got it for 17 bucks. So that's what's on my eyes. And I did not put on lashes. I just put on mascara because the focus is on the face. So that is what we're doing. It is 11-11 since I've been sitting here playing in makeup. And this is pretty much where we're starting. We start at about 10.30, so. so I'm gonna check in later before I go to the gym and then I'm gonna check in this afternoon after the gym to let you guys know how this foundation held up. 
but this is what it looks like if I could keep my forehead still. My wrinkles are there, but I feel like they are not as bad as some of the other foundations you guys have seen me use, so happy about that. I think my pores look good. Everything looks smooth. She cute. So I'm gonna check in with you guys later. All right, guys, this is my first check-in. It is currently 3.57. So we have had this foundation on 11.30-ish. This is what it looks like so far. Clearly, I mean, I've been sitting working, so <laughs> there is absolutely no change. I don't, I mean, we see my wrinkles, but I don't feel like they're like, overly exaggerated I guess so this is where we are I'm about to head out to the gym and I am deadlifting today and doing a back workout which I usually tend to break a sweat but it's cooled off a lot here it's kind of cold so may not happen but either way I will check back in with you guys tonight and I will let you see the progress but so far this is why I love it all right, guys, I made it back from the gym. I ate dinner and I also did some editing. It is currently 9.45. I could honestly go longer, but I'm home. It's not hot. I'm not doing anything but sitting and editing. So I'm ready to get this off my face so I can lay down because I'm tired. This is what the foundation looks like. I'm going to move in so you guys can see. There might be... I was editing like this <laughs> so there might be a little bit that rubbed off on this side but I can't even really tell and then here's this side I did sweat a little bit but I feel dry like this foundation is a matte foundation and yeah it is definitely matte the glow that you're seeing is from my blush and from my highlighter I feel like I mean this like I said I love this foundation I know it holds up well because I've worn it before even when I was oily and I feel like this is definitely held up well I do feel like I said this is a little dry but what's new we've been having this problem this is it for the wear test again I'm in the shade 200 and this is a beautiful foundation if you have not tried it Definitely go online, use their shade match tool to try to find your shade and give it a try. It is so worth it and it lasts so long. And this is one of the few shades that I've found that I feel like works really well if I'm a little darker or even if I'm a little lighter, I can make it work. So I definitely think it's worth the money. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like the review or if you're thinking about trying the foundation. I will see you in the next video. Bye.